Hey guys, um, I pulled this recipe out of my SHTF binder uh, because I figured SHTF happens and you're going to want something good. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make chocolate syrup. Okay, and you start out with one cup of water, okay, and you take a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa, okay, and you mix it with the water, so it'll mix. Because you know cocoa doesn't like to mix really well. This stuff will end up tasting like Hershey's syrup a lot. Pretty, pretty close, anyway. You just mix, mix, and mix, and mix until it finally mixes. It will eventually mix. with a fork if you want, but a wire whisk does it a little bit quicker. Okay, then you start heating it, and um, you need to have the bigger one because I think it expands a little bit. Um, you heat the water up until over, over medium heat, stirring occasionally, and add the sugar. After it's warm, you add the sugar and continue to stir until the sugar dissolves, okay? So I'm gonna put you on hold until this gets to the point where it's warm so you don't have to sit here and watch a pop. <laughs> it's like watching water boil, never does, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put you on hold for just a minute while this, while I heat the water and the one cup of water and the uh, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa that's whisked together. I'm gonna heat that up and I'll bring you back when it gets hotter so I can add the sugar. Okay. It just started boiling a little bit. So now it's time to add the sugar. The way he said you could just dump it all in there, but I would ex I would suggest just slowly add it. It shouldn't lump, but you just gotta be careful, I guess. Okay, that was the sugar. All mixed up. As you can see, it's a rich dark chocolate. So, and as soon as it comes to a boil, it should come right back to a boil really fast. I'm heating up some water in the microwave right now so that uh, I can sit, stick the jar, I'm gonna put it in in the hot water. Uh, I gotta relight my hot water heater. It went out again. Does that a lot. So I'll stick the jar in hot water so I don't break the jar. So it doesn't have to be a hot, hot jar, but it needs to at least be warmed up. So. Add a little butter and you can probably have fudge. <laughs> and some marshmallow cream. You can make the fudge without it. It just takes a lot longer. You gotta cook it for quite a while. Come on, start boiling. Yeah, now we get to watch it reboil. It's starting to move around a little bit though, so it's on the edge of boiling. As soon as I start getting some bubbles, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the timer. We're going to boil it for three minutes. baby bubbles right now. You gotta stir it occasionally just to make sure nothing sticks. You gotta bring it to a full rolling boil. 
As soon as it gets to where it's a full rolling boil, it doesn't stir down, that's when you start your three minutes. Because you want the sugar to completely dissolve. That's the whole idea. You don't want granulation. It's got to be smooth so it makes real chocolate sauce. I'm going to use some of this here in a little bit. I got some ice cream in the freezer. So. I saw this the other day when I was doing the videos on the uh, SHTF binder, and I thought, you know, you guys might just like this. You know, it costs $3, right, for, for a thing of chocolate sauce at the store to either make chocolate milk out of or put over your ice cream, and you can make chocolate milk out of this. Um, why spend that kind of money? right? A half a cup of cocoa and three cup, uh, two cups of sugar, a cup of water, a little salt and vanilla, and you cook it. That's it. So I'll go back over the recipe again so you guys will be able to write it all down. And then I'll read the recipe off word for word so that you guys know exactly what I see. I might even show you. Nah, it's too much of a pain. Picking up that binder and keeping the pages from flopping around is a pain in the butt. Come on. Almost there. We're getting bubbles. Oops. I want to drop it. Come on. Okay, now we're at a full rolling boil. Kitchen timer. Three minutes start. Okay. And I'll just stir this slowly just to make sure nothing sticks. Oh, yeah, see how it expands? That's why it was a two-quart saucepan. Okay, because it's taking up half the pan now. All the air bubbles in it. Yes, it expands quite a lot. It, it'll calm back down after it quits boiling. So we got three minutes. We got two minutes left. Oh, shoot! I hate this thing. I just broke my whisk. This thing's been on borrowed time for months. Still usable. But now I get to buy me another one. And remember to scrape the sides. Okay. Oh, it smells good. One minute and 21 seconds left can take it off. I am going to let it sit for just a minute and cool off just a little before I pour it in that jar because I really don't want to explode that jar. Especially all over my kitchen, all over me, might get cut. Yeah, we're just going to let it cool just a little bit before we go pouring it in that jar. One minute exactly left. seconds and I'll just put it off and set it onto this burner rather than just turn it off take it completely off the heat 30 seconds left it smells fantastic I'm a chocoholic I love chocolate I figure SHTF happens and I want to have some chocolate 
chocolate sauce is just the ticket. Because you can make something like pancakes or something, put it over the top of it. So, you know, if you get lucky and know how to make ice cream, which I don't yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's off the heat. Got this jar sitting in hot water. I'm just going to hold it down in there all the way. I wonder if I should pour it into the jar while it's in the water. Hmm, I think I'll do that. Oh, I better get a scraper. You, what you do, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to put the, put a, a little bit of that, and a little bit of salt, almost forgot, wow, I might have messed up the recipe, stir it in really good, and it's an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, I probably put just a touch more vanilla in there, but I really don't think it's going to mess it up. Okay, she is mixed. That bowl, so it doesn't make a huge mess. And I can't do this with the camera looking easily. Go for higher up. And I'm pouring it into the jar. Just a minute. Put this water away. I'm gonna get me a bowl of ice cream. So, that's the whole reason I made this sauce tonight. Okay, now let's go over the recipe one more time. It's one half of a cup of unsweetened cocoa, one cup of tap water, two cups of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. You find a two quart saucepan in, in it, mix the cocoa and water with a wire whisker fork, heat the chocolate water over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Add the sugar and continue to stir until the sugar dissolves. Bring the mixture to a full rolling boil. Reduce the heat to medium low and boil for a full three minutes. Remove the syrup from the heat. You add the salt and vanilla. You stir it up really good. Uh, pour it into a clean pint size cannon jar. Well, I didn't have a pint size. All I had was a quart. and Or, or like a clean ketchup container or some other container. Uh, put a good lid on it and you store it in the fridge. Okay. Uh, you can use this thing to make chocolate milk, serve it up with ice cream. It's supposed to taste a lot like Hershey's cocoa. And I'm going to, or Hershey's chocolate sauce. I'm going to taste it right now. That's good. That's yummy. Anyway, guys, I got this out of my SHTF binder. Um, I'll be bringing more of these as I go, uh, probably as I decide I want to do it. Uh, you know, there's mayonnaise. i got to get me another mixer. I've mine broken. Uh, yeast, potato bread. There's things like uh, sourdough starter. There's all kinds of stuff. Flour tortillas. Uh, just tons of stuff that a person might want in an SHTF situation but can't get it from the store okay so if you guys would hit the thumbs up like comment subscribe hit the bell icons consider supporting the channel check out my links down below I would appreciate it and y'all come back and see me <laughs>